Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this olive gold eyeshadow look using the chocolate bar palette by Too Faced. It's the original one. And if you like makeup tutorials and you want to see more, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and leave down in the comment section below any upcoming videos you'd like to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to show you enjoy my videos and it just is pretty awesome. It makes my day. <laughs> if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just please keep on watching. First I'm going to prime my face with Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer and this is going to make sure my foundation stays all day long. Then I'm going to take Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and apply this all over my face and blend it out with a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush. For concealer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and apply this under my eyes and on the other parts of my face that I'd like to highlight. To set everything and make sure it stays all day, I'm going to take Revlon Nearly Naked Powder and apply that with a flat top brush. Then to warm up my skin a bit, I'm going to take NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer and I'm going to apply this in a 3B motion all over my face and this is going to give myself a warm glow. Then for blush, I'm going to take Max Cream Blush in Posy Tint and I'm just going to apply this to my apples my cheeks and work it back. For highlight, I'm going to take Mana Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion and just apply that to my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to take the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. So I'm just going to take the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Blonde and just color my brows to set them for the day. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm going to be taking a brown shade, and I'm going to apply this into my crease with a big fluffy brush, and this is going to be my blender color. <laughs> then on my lid, I'm going to take a gold color from the palette and apply that with a small shader brush. Then into my crease, I'm going to take a olive -y gold color and I'm going to apply that with a pointed crease brush. Then I'm going to take the dark brown color and apply this with a pointed brush and I'm applying that into my outer corners as well. And this is just going to help deepen up the look. Then I'm just going to take a clean blender brush and I'm just going to blend out all of the harsh lines. Take the lightish pink shimmery color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corners. I'm going to take the raspberry color in the palette and with on a angled eyeliner brush and line my upper lash line. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. And I'm going to take Star Looks Eyeliner in Amethyst and I'm just going to apply this onto my waterline to give a different look to the eyeshadow look. For eyeliner, I'm going to take Steel All Day Liquid Eyeliner and apply Winged Eyeliner. Because that's just what I prefer and I wear winged eyeliner pretty much every day. Mascara, I'm going to take Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and apply that to my eyes. And excuse the gross nails. And there's the finished eyeshadow look.
For lips, I'm going to take L'Oreal Lipstick Crayon in the color Shell, and I'm going to apply that onto my lips. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pop off the look, I'm going to take L'Oreal's Lip Luster Cream in Empress. There you have it guys, there's the finished look. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more makeup tutorials as well as any other videos. Have a great day guys, bye!